everyone. Welcome to this day. It is Tuesday and it is October 18th. We have one meeting to tell you about today and that is going to be on 9.30 this morning. That's the third mutual board and it will be in the boardroom virtually as well as televised right here on Village Television and will immediately follow our morning broadcast of this day. Now on our show today we have a CEO general manager update. We have Siobhan Foster here. She's got some information about some awards that are going to be uh, given out as well as some other general information about that. Then we have Ed Tao who is a candidate for the Laguna Woods City Council. He's going to tell us about his experience and some things that uh, you should already know about the city of Laguna Woods. All right, let's take a look at our weather. Well, we have some unusual weather this week. It's going to be quite warm today, but then even hotter tomorrow. 85-68 today, 92-68, and then we drop down to 82-65, 77-65, and then cloudy, 71-60. Our sunrise this morning was at 6.58, and our sunset will be at 6.13. All right, well, stick around. When we come back, we'll have Siobhan Foster tell us more about some awards that are coming up. Stay tuned. At Genesis Medical Center, our goal is to treat chronic conditions with a traditional and holistic approach to get the best results. We created a program we call Diabetes Reversal, targeting people with prediabetes and chronic diabetes. The patient is closely and personally monitored. We check parameters, blood sugar monitoring, A1C, cholesterol, high blood pressure, and weight. We offer natural supplements, and we will hopefully decrease the amount of medications you're currently taking. We teach lifestyle modifications, increase confidence, and control the disease. Dr. Vias and the OCI Care staff believe in one-on-one -on -one care and the patient-physician relationship. OCI Care was absolutely the most wonderful place I've ever been to as far as being taken care of. The staff was very friendly and I felt very welcomed and relaxed. How did I feel about Dr. Vias? The man is very gentle, he is very caring and totally involved with detail. Hearing is part of your foundational health. Having the best hearing you can affects every aspect of your life. Hearing is related to your balance, your memory, your communication, and your overall positive well-being. Hi, I'm Ann Mundell Noel, owner of Amazing Hearing. As an audiologist, my passion is to give you the best hearing health available based on your individual needs. Call us today to schedule an appointment. We're located in the Trader Joe Shopping Center. Welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Laguna Woods Village here. Information from Siobhan Foster. Hi, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Nice to see you. Thank you. And, um, We've got some new officers, and then we're going to talk about the performance awards that we do here for our staff. We do. So uh, excellent. So this morning I want to recognize the uh, new officers of the Mutual Boards of Directors. Mm -hmm. On Thursday, October 6th, during its annual meeting, the third Laguna Hills Mutual Board of Directors reaffirmed its incumbent roster of officers. So that includes Mark Laws, President, Annie McCary, First Vice President, Ralph Engdahl, Second Vice President, Chris Prince as secretary, and Donna Rain Sostak as treasurer. Okay, excellent. And United had their annual meeting on Tuesday, October 11th, and the roster of board officers was finalized at that meeting. Lenny Ross is the president, Thomas Tuning, the first vice president, Reza Bastani, second vice president, Mary Simon, secretary, and Azar Asgari, treasurer. Okay. We know some of them already, so that's yes. good. And then yesterday, um, VMS and the boards of directors celebrated outstanding employees at the Employee Excellence Awards. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to share the winners this morning. These are outstanding employees who demonstrate excellent customer service, achieve great results on projects, regularly go above and beyond their regular job duties, and exceed service expectations and make a positive impact on the village living experience. Mm -hmm. 
So our award winners, and I hope you'll congratulate me in recognizing them, are Raul Berrigan from General Services, Francis Gomez from Security Services, Connie Habal from the CEO's office, Abel Lucero from Maintenance and Construction, and Paul Artis from Media and Communications. Yay, for everyone, that's awesome. And then we also have Kendall Osborne from Financial Services, Clement Sanchez from Landscaping Services, Dan Simicoli from Information Systems, Haley Yoakum from Recreation and Special Events, and Dan Yost from Human Resources. And yay for all of them too, that's great. Yes. And I also want to take a moment to share some thank yous our employees have received from residents. I was meeting with a resident last week, and he reminded me of the importance of sharing these both for the resident who takes the time to graciously write to us and for the employees who receive the kudos. Mm. So uh, we received the following from a, about a resident services customer service representative. The resident states that the customer service representative was outstanding. He researched, took little time while checking to make sure he had all his facts straight. He apologized and was polite and just excellent. Love that. Um, about one of our broadband technicians. It is so often people do not take the time to write to let you know how much you are appreciated for your service. I want to let you know how much I did appreciate your time and patience with us and troubleshooting and fixing our problem. Nice. Uh, we received the following about a recreation fitness assistant. I went to the fitness center with a knee and low back problem. The employee showed me the perfect exercises that really helped the problems perfectly. Nice, that's good. That's, that's good because you know you don't always get that. No, exactly. With, uh, with those types of specific injuries. Yes, <laughs> and then about one of our maintenance plumbers. The plumber arrived at 8 a.m. He listened to our concerns and began to narrow down the problem. He was very explanatory with his methods. In 90 minutes, he had comple completely alleviated the problem. He was personable and knowledgeable. Very nice young man. That is really great, and you know, if people, it's always nice when people do take the time, like you mentioned, to give a shout out to people just because it makes them feel good, and it just really helps kind of back up all the things you've been telling us that these surveys have been coming in with all these great remarks. That's correct, and we do really thank our residents who take the time because it's just going above and beyond their normal day to take the time to recognize our employees, and we are very very thankful and take this very seriously. So. If, they, if they did want to send an email with a uh, compliment or some concern, should they send that to the info at lagunawoodsvillage.com? Yes, that would be okay. perfect. And then it gets passed along to the right okay. location. Excellent. So. Well, thank you so much. That is wonderful. And congratulations to everyone who got a performance award. And then, of course, congratulations to all of the board members, too, that were elected. Yes, we're looking forward to working with them. Thank you for the information. Thank you. And as we mentioned, if you would like to send in a compliment or you might have a question, you can go to, you can send an email to info at lagunawoodsvillage.com or you could send a question or comment to general manager at vmsinc.org and it will go to the appropriate person. We'll be right back. For a change of scenery, you don't have to play golf to enjoy all that 19 Restaurant and Lounge has to offer. From a delicious breakfast menu to our delectable lunch and dinner specials, at 19 Restaurant and Lounge, there is something for everyone. Relax with your friends and family and take in the beautiful view from our spacious patio, or enjoy a cocktail and appetizer in our lounge. 19 Restaurant and Lounge is a great place to socialize, enjoy a meal, or simply take in the view. Join us seven days a week and experience Laguna Woods' exclusive dining experience. Welcome to Balbina's Mexican Restaurant. Stop by and experience the most authentic Mexican food in the region. We are serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have a very extensive Mexican wine list from Valle de Guadalupe and the center of Mexico. Visit us for breakfast and lunch from 8 in the morning to 2 p.m. and for dinner from 5 to 9 p.m. Stop by on Wednesdays and enjoy with half off on all of our wines. Now at LA Carpet and More, you can transform your old bath into a new walk-in bathtub or shower in as little as two days. Plus, save 50% off and get five years 0% financing. 
It's easy, affordable, and fast. With 35 years in business and serving over 300,000 satisfied customers, call 800-684-4100 for an appointment or visit one of our showrooms. LA Carpet, number one for you. Hey, beach walkers, grandkid chasers, stair climbers, dance lovers, weekend warriors, and yogis. Your life demands activity, and joint pain shouldn't hold you back. Get personalized joint care that's as unique as you, with high satisfaction rates to prove it. At Memorial Care, your joint replacement patient navigator will be by your side, helping you safely return to more. Like another beach, extra hug, and one more song. More from life is calling with Memorial Care. Hi, my name is Rhonda Plains. I'm from Fullerton, California. I absolutely love Dr. V. I am very happy to drive from Fullerton to Laguna Woods. I was having an issue with my vision. There was strobe light going off in my eye. Dr. Vias was able to get me in to see him the next day. Once I met him and he diagnosed the problem with my eye, I felt very comfortable with him and yeah, I'm just really happy that I found him. Welcome back. Well, we have Ed Tao here, who is an incumbent for the Laguna Woods City Council, and he is running again. Well, welcome. How are you? Very nice to have you on. Uh, feeling very good. Good. Well, thank you. And, you know, you've been doing a lot for the city for the last couple of years. Tell me about some of your experience and what are some things that you've been doing. Okay. Um, I have... Uh, served on the city council about two years. And uh, one thing I really enjoy is watching um, the comments coming from the resident. Mm -hmm. And uh, we figure ways out to uh, help them. And uh, that's a very good experience yeah. to uh, uh, be serving in the city. Yeah. It is it is nice when like we were just talking about how nice it is to hear from people when you are doing a good job and the things are getting done, which I know you've been able to really get a lot of things done uh, with the city. You were mentioning that the city is in good shape financially, it looks good, uh, people the streets are good. So there's a lot of things that you are uh, talking about. Yes. Um, we are fortunate the city is in very good shape. For example, our streets are well maintained and all of them at least have 75% service level. Mm -hmm. They are busy streets, but uh, we have a great deal of traffic, but our uh, policy has been to keep them well maintained. Um, and uh, we don't have any infrastructure problem, for we are not responsible for water and sewer lines. Mm -hmm. That's the job of El Toro, and they are doing a great job for us. Mm -hmm. what, one thing that you did mention is, even though you were talking about a little bit of the streets and stuff, but the medians, you know, there's a lot of turnover in some of the medians because it looks as though there are more drought-tolerant plants going in, right? Yes, so, so that's one other thing uh, the landscape is well maintained and uh, tasteful on uh, all the streets. Uh, and the, you, as you mentioned, the me medians which we have responsibility to maintain mm -hmm. are in good, good taste also. Okay, good. And then uh, financially, uh, you guys are in good shape, which is, which is good to know because I think people might be you know, concerned about pensions, but you guys are okay. We have no debt, and uh, pension is in really good shape. And uh, just for uh, latest information, we have a city uh, uh, auditor report. Uh, the new physical health ranking information is uh, just out. And uh, for 2020, to 21, mm -hmm. 
and uh, we are ranking 19 out of 431 statewide. In other words, we're top five. So wow. That's really good. That's really good. Well, good for you guys on the board. That's amazing. And then, you know, obviously cities have challenges always. There's always certain things. And I know one thing, and you're not the only city, is that the police services is a challenge for most cities right now. Yes, indeed. You're in the know. We, <laughs> we have no control over that part of the cost, but we're trying our best yeah. to cope with it. Yeah, well, you know, the city is in pretty good shape in terms of crime, and I think that, you know, having a police presence has been certainly helpful here for that. Yes, so that's we're very appreciative of their service. Great. And then what are some other challenges that you see going forward that uh, you would like to help solve? Well, uh, we have some um, uh, new project which is uh, worth mentioning. And one of them is the mobility study uh, that will be completed in 2023, about springtime. And uh, it will be exciting to hear. It's conducted by the Southern California Association of Governments mm -hmm. okay. and, uh, with a company called uh, BMI. And oh. they are very good. Okay, wonderful. And then uh, it's not a new fire station, it's a different fire station that they're talking about building in the city. And that's a, a very exciting one, simply because uh, we are uh, having congestion, as you know, on the uh, uh, El Toro Road mm. near the Mo uh, Moton area. Yes. So uh, it's been a long-term problem, but we uh, have a good proposal to uh, using the existi existing city lane, uh, which is uh, uh, called Center Park, uh, that is located on Moulton, south of uh, Gate 7. It will be uh, smaller than the current Station 22, uh, but it will cutting the response time, precious time, to save lives oh. and save uh, cost uh, okay. of rebuilding and things like that. Okay. So it's very exciting. That is, that is good news, because I know that many times we've heard the, you know, the engines coming in, and like you said, it could take a little bit longer to get through that intersection. Now, of course, we have talked about the library that you guys are completing. We've talked to Carol Moore, we've talked to some other folks about what's been happening, and it's almost done. Tell me about that. Uh, okay, yeah, it's very, also very exciting in that um, it's uh, in the uh, uh, area of weeks, not months. And uh, so the Orange County Public Library has more than 1.6 million items yeah. for checking out, even though we cannot uh, have a large library like some of the other larger cities, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we can get the books and order them coming into our branch. Great, great. And then there is one space that's going to be for meetings, which is a great idea. Yes, and a lot of people commented and really liking what's coming. That's good, it looks good. Looks like it's coming along nicely, so excellent. Anything I might have missed? Oh, you're very thorough. <laughs> <laughs> well, excellent. Well, good luck to you. Uh, I know the election's coming up here in early November, so we'll find out uh, who will be on the board shortly after that. Yeah, okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Nice right. talking to you. You too. And if you want more information, you can always email ed at etao at cityoflagunawoods.org. We'll be right back. Are you or someone you know facing financial challenges from unexpected emergency expenses? The Foundation of Laguna Woods Village can provide the temporary help you need. Meals on Wheels, Adult Day Services, Dental Services, Medical Alert Services, and Ambulance Contracts. 
contact the Village Social Services at 949-597-4267 to see if you qualify. Neighbors Helping Neighbors, the mission of the Foundation of Laguna Woods Village. Hi, remember us? We're back. Christine and Jack from the Jewelry Box. Which is now the Jewelry Box Estate Buyers. Relocated in a new spot in our old shopping center. But we're still Orange County's preeminent buyer of gold, jewelry, watches, and flatware. And we're still a full jewelry repair center. And with our three graduate gemologists, we're still here to appraise your special pieces. And like always, at the Jewelry Box Estate Buyers, it's about trust. Village Television presents Friday Films, only on Village Television. Fridays at 2 and 6 p.m. Foreign Films, Dramas and Comedies, Award-Winning Films, Romance and Mystery. Independent Films, every Friday, only on Village Television. Watch HGTV. Netflix. Healthcare organizations care, but the best dare to reach higher. At Hogue, we lead with life saving clinical trials and advanced therapies. Our world renowned specialists innovate with state of the art technologies like virtual reality and robotics. Hogue is the number one hospital in Orange County four years in a row. Now more than ever, your healthcare choices matter. Choose Hogue. We have lots of activities that are coming up and of course we have an Oktoberfest and October means Oktoberfest means brats and beer and this should be loads of fun. It's on Monday October 24th in Clubhouse 5 from 5 it starts at 5 p.m. There'll be a GRF no host bar and it's 25 bucks and that includes all the delicious items fruit trays potato salad green salads pot roast roast chicken bratwurst with sauerkraut and all the other delicious items, and German chocolate cake and key lime pie. So it sounds delicious. So you can purchase your tickets at Clubhouse 5 office, or you can in get your information at recreation at vmsinc.org. We have a Village Bazaar that's coming up, and I'm sure you can find some great items there. That's going to be Saturday, October 22nd, and that is in Clubhouse 5's main lounge, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So you definitely can get all sorts of cool things there. And if you want more information about that, you can call 949-597-4227 or you can go to recreation at vmsinc.org. And then another fun activity is we're having the Halloween Hoedown. 
and that should be a load of fun. That's also on Saturday, October 22nd, but that's going to be later in the afternoon from 4 to 7. And uh, there, it is free to you guys, trick-or-treating from 4 to 5.30. They are going to have a concert by J.D. South. Now, there is a petting zoo, but that is $2 per child. But the good thing is there's going to be food trucks for purchase, games, inflatables, and more. And if you want more information about that, you can email recreation at vmsinc.org. And then one last thing I wanted to mention is the Deluxe Nightclub is having a fun, fun party. It's a dinner dance, the witching Halloween dance. That's going to be at Clubhouse 5 on Wednesday, October 26, from 6.30 to 9.30. They are going to have group dance lessons by RX Ballroom Dance. That starts at 5.15, and then the fun of mixed dance by DJ Caesar, line dancing, free pizza, GRF no host bar, sounds like a blast. So it's $5 for deluxe nightclub members and $10 for non-members, and uh, you can always uh, check them out on the lagunawoodsvillage.com website. All right, let's go ahead and uh, tell you about our weather. Our weather is looking really good. Although it is going to be warm, we are looking at very warm temperatures this week. We are looking at uh, 80, it's going to be about 85, 68 today, 92, 68, 82, 65, 77, 65, and 71, 60. Have a great day in the village. Don't forget, we've got a board meeting that's coming up. The third board meeting will be shortly after our morning broadcast of this day, somewhere in the 930 hour. If you would like to rewatch our program, you can see it at 12.30 and 5 every day, Monday through Saturday. And uh, if you miss any of our programs, you can always go to our YouTube channel, Village Television, and all of our programming is there. Have a great day in the Village. We'll see you again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Bye-bye. For a change of scenery, you don't have to play golf to enjoy all that 19 Restaurant and Lounge has to offer. From a delicious breakfast menu to our delectable lunch and dinner specials, at 19 Restaurant and Lounge, there is something for everyone. Relax with your friends and family and take in the beautiful view from our spacious patio. Or enjoy a cocktail and appetizer in our lounge. 19 Restaurant and Lounge is a great place to socialize, enjoy a meal, or simply take in the view. Join us seven days a week and experience Laguna Woods' exclusive dining experience. Did you hear the big news? The FDA announced the over-the-counter hearing aid program. It's been six years in the making. And what does that mean to you if you wear hearing aids or if you're thinking about wearing hearing aids for the first time? Most people are asking themselves, what is an over-the-counter hearing aid? Would it work for me? Where do I get them to try? How much do they cost? For over 40 years, Advanced Ear Care has been helping answer questions just like this. Call us today and find out more. And remember, tell them Stuart sent you. I'm Dr. Bobby Awadala, double board certified dermatologist and Mohs surgeon, and I'd like to introduce you to Skin Credible Dermatology and Surgery. We perform general dermatology, including skin checks, suspicious spots or moles, and other skin problems. Plus, we have the highest cure rate for skin cancer removal. Our state-of-the-art facility is top of the line with industry-leading lasers and cutting-edge cosmetic products. Our goal is to turn back the years with a natural, beautiful look. Visit our website or give us a call to book your appointment today. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks. Remember me, I'm the king of whoopee. <laughs> and you're watching Village Television, but everybody does.